click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hi friends in the previous lecture we have discussed about that is how we can prepare aldehyde and ketone by the calcium salt of fatty acid and now we are going to discuss about that is how we can prepare aldehyde by using that is stannous chloride along with that of an alkyl cyanide so let us discuss about that So this is a topic where we are going to discuss about that is how we can prepare an aldehyde using an alkyl cyanide as well as a region that is stannous chloride. So let me discuss about the general reaction here and then on we will discuss about the examples also. So talking about the first one that is suppose if we have consider the alkyl cyanide that is RCN and suppose if that undergoes a reaction with that is SNCl2 along with that of a dilute HCl. So the product that we could form over here is it would be that is RCH double bond NHHCl. So the product that has been formed over here is basically known as it is known as imine complex or it could be also called as imine hydrochloride. But this reaction doesn't stop over here. Obviously we have to react it with the acid hydrolysis process. So that is how in this process basically this imine complex it will be converted into an aldehyde that is RC double bond OH along with that of a byproduct that is NH4Cl. So this is the reaction that is what I have discussed that is in which basically an alkyl cyanide is basically it has been converted into an aldehyde but using SNCl2 along with that of HCl. So this kind of reaction is basically known as Stephens reaction. So this is how we can prepare only aldehydes. In this case, basically we cannot prepare ketones. So therefore the Stefan reaction, it only includes the formation of an aldehyde from the alkyl cyanide. So let me discuss about the few examples over here and let us understand that is how aldehydes are being prepared from this reaction. So talking about the examples, suppose if we have considered that is CH3, C triple bond N, which is basically known as methyl cyanide or we could also call it as acetonitrile. So when acetonitrile it undergoes a reaction with that is of this tannous chloride that is SNCl2 along with that of dilute solution of HCl. So the product that we will form over here is that is CH3, this would be CH, this triple bond it would be converted into double bond. So this will be NHHCl. So this is what we have got and the name of this is it could be called it as imine complex. But as I have said earlier, that is the reaction doesn't stop over here. Obviously, we have to react it with an acidic solution or it undergoes an acidic hydrolysis process. So that is how basically the product that we could form over here is that is CH3, CH and here will be double bond O while the rest of the thing it will be removed as a byproduct in the form of that is NH4Cl. So the product that we have formed over here that is known as acetaldehyde or we could also call it as ethanol. So this is how we can form an aliphatic aldehyde. But this reaction can also help us to get the aromatic aldehyde also. So this is how we can form an aliphatic aldehyde. But we can also prepare the aromatic aldehyde and the reaction is as follows. So to prepare the aromatic aldehyde we have to consider that is benzonitrile that is a benzene ring which is basically having a cyanide group that is attached to it. So this is known as benzonitrile. So whenever the benzonitrile it undergoes reaction in presence of that is SNCl2 as well as the dilute solution of HCl. Obviously the product that we could form over here it will be a complex. So that complex is basically nothing but it would be that is an imine complex. So this is the imine complex that we have obtained but it will undergo the acid hydrolysis process where this imine complex will be converted into so this CH it will be here as it is while this double bond O will acquire an oxygen atom on it as well as the byproduct that will form it will be that is NH4 Cl along with that obviously this NH2Cl it will react with that of the H3O uh, atoms or it will react with the hydrogen atoms of the H3O and that is how the product form is basically NH4Cl. So this is the product that we have formed over here and this is the main product that we are concerned with and that is basically known as benzaldehyde. 
so that's it so this was the preparation of an aromatic as well as an aliphatic aldehyde by using the stannous chloride along with that of an alkyl cyanide so this is what i want to discuss about so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and you have got to know the various concept behind that is how we can prepare an aliphatic as well as an aromatic aldehyde by using the alkyl cyanide as well as we could say that is an aromatic cyanide so Thank you for watching this video. I will see you next time. So till then, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.